Okay, what year a Honda? 2002 Honda Passport. Here we go. We've already removed the caliper bolts. Go ahead and just slide the caliper off. No, no, slide the caliper off. Okay, like set him back there. Let it rest. Now take off the bracket bolts. He's already loosened those. We just kind of do this for a video. You always take the caliper off first, then the bracket, because you want to lubricate the slides. Good. You can leave the pads on or off, it doesn't really matter. But what I want to show real quick, take the caliper off first. These slides should be lubricated, obviously. But uh, you all know how that works. Thank you. <laughs> There's a slide we're going to lubricate again anyway. Set him aside. Now let's take off the rotor and expose the parking brake. Get the impact driver. It's not going to come off yet. The Japanese folks like these little screws. The American folks use containerman nuts. Okay, get your hammer. Oh, he's a man. You need a hammer. <laughs> I'll show you the hammer thing on the other one. So put it on there. And the goal is, it won't break loose. Watch, 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 watch. This makes it easy. This makes it easy. Okay. Can you see the hammer on my screen? Yep. That breaks loose. That's the idea of the hammer. Impact driver. Okay, go ahead and spin out screws. We're going to expose, like I say, the parking brake underneath. Okay. Will the rotor slide off or not? Let's see. Nope. So watch this. Watch this. Now it'll come off. Is the parking brake off? Yeah. Good. <laughs> You're sure? Try being on the other side. Sure the parking brake is on. I didn't put it on. It should slide off a little better than this. <laughs> there we go. Here's the surface, little drum for these shoes. And this setup is again all for the parking brake. They were a little complicated most times. We don't have all these springs. Let me show you what this little rubber plug's for. I'm going to dump the dust out on the floor, on the garbage. This rubber plug. The idea is it comes out. This is how you adjust. If I get it to come out, let me get a smaller screwdriver. It might dig out easier this way. Okay. Having camera camera stage right here. All right. You rotate that hole around until it lines up. Where is the star wheel? Okay, hold the drum or the rotor, which you're going to call it. Both, isn't it? Okay. Okay. And down under here are the star wheel teeth. And slide the rotor back on. And the idea is, now that hole has got to be associated, hold it, that hole has to line up, pull it back off. That hole is to line up with one of these, which in this case, that won't be a problem. Go ahead. They don't always give you a hole in every, every location. But I think you get the idea. You'll rotate this to where the star wheel is, reach in, and adjust your shoes. And that's the uh, rear disc brake and drum brake for parking brakes. 